hello and welcome back to this let's play of Deathmark. Uh, in the last episode we explored the H, H elementary school I believe it was in search of Hanahiko and we found him in a mirror but there's still something not right so we need to go back and find out how we can kill Hanahiko. If you can kill spirits I don't know but right let's look. Who should we take with us? A little child or a strong ex-detective man? I know who I would prefer in a situation in a spooky abandoned school. So let's take Mishita with us. Yes. Uh -huh. Even though he doesn't sound enthused. Okay. Hey, wait! Mishito appears as we're getting ready to leave. Bad news. That high school girl? Miss Moe is gone. At least she's nowhere in the mansion. Speaking of which, I didn't see her when we were talking to Mary in the hall either. Maybe she ran away. That doesn't make sense. What would she accomplish by doing that? Running away from a mansion won't make her mark disappear. It could be her form of escape. Many kill themselves if they know they're gonna die. Morbid. Or maybe something's happened to her. Like the spirit's curse. Moe saw Hanahiko in the mirror at the school so she's the mark bearer with the strongest connection. It's possible that he zeroed in on her just like Tsukasa said. But there's nothing we can do. Let's get ready to go. <laughs> Mishita don't care. Yeah, we really can't do anything right now. Even if something's happened to Moe, if we can get the marks to vanish, that should save her too. Let's head out. We're going back to H Elementary. Back to the school. We want to go to H Elementary. Ooh, I wonder what's happened to Moe. Spooky school. We've come back to H Elementary. I know full well. And in the end, this place is just a school. Let's go. Mishida nods silently and steps forward. <laughs> I also found out you can actually save here. So I've been looking for like save points and the Y button it, where it says record actually means save. Gosh. I had such trouble coming back to this, realised I hadn't saved properly and had to redo the whole thing again. Slightly ridiculous. Is everything the same as it was? We saw it earlier, but the hallway was completely transformed. Careful of the thorns. They aren't your run-of-the-mill rose thorns. Hmm? Huh? Wait, something's there. Mishida suddenly speaks up. Where? Something sparkling by the window ledge. The window? All I can see is rose vines. I may as well check it out, though. Is the window ledge? Is it going to be a spook? Oh. I didn't see. Oh, there. Hmm. Something's going glint. Ugh, that's a hard word to say. Glinting over by the window. Looks like something's buried in the rose vines. There's definitely something there. I didn't notice it before. No, maybe it wasn't there yet when we passed through here earlier. There was a guard that just got killed, yeah. It's probably his. Maybe. It might have fallen on the floor and been lifted up by the vines. It's only now that it's high enough to be spotted. If it belongs to the guard, then it could come in handy while we're investigating. He was in charge of watching this building after all. Let's check it out. I push my fingers into the vines. Ow! I was careful, but the oddly shaped thorns still cut my skin. 
Damn, this is a pain. I keep fighting with the vines. I finally reached the metal object. Got school ring key. Key ring. School key ring. <laughs> yep, it's just as we thought. These definitely belong to that guard. Those are employee keys. We should be able to get into every... She just suddenly cut off mid-sentence. What's wrong? Nothing. I just lost my train of thought all of a sudden. It slipped my mind, is all. Let's keep investigating. Knew if I was added to the spirit file. Continuation of the school investigation. Check our file. Where are we? Done that. Done black red of it. Done that. Secrets of the Underground. Did we read this? I think we read this. Continuation of the school. We found a ring of keys that we think the guard dropped. Now we can investigate the classrooms that were locked before we left. Mary said she said it's impossible to kill the dead. Yeah. Well, have to just do everything in our power to find information on the keys or ways to repel the spirit before dawn comes. Mm. I like those that it's kind of like oh, that it see it's handy if you don't know what you're doing or what you were doing beforehand. What's in here? Something stuck deep inside. Do we have red pen? Is that long enough to get in? Or scrap of paper? Ah, what out talisman, yeah. Feel the warmth. Almost to 3,000, that's good. <laughs> so when I make dumb decisions, at least it won't kill me. I think we search everything else in here. Think. Yeah. Okay. So back out. Oh, this is the room before. I don't think there's anything interesting in here. We've already done all, all of that. Oh, wrong button. Uh, let's go back and check this room. Oh, use this. No, no. Use the keys to get into this room. I guess it was locked. <laughs> oh my god, that made me jump. <laughs> I was talking to my friend about this game, and she was like, "Oh, is there like jump scares in it?" And I'm like, "Not really. You kind of see them coming." I did not see that one coming. So sorry if you got jumped by that. <laughs> it's an ama <laughs> It's an about abandoned desk. Let's feel around. I stick my hand inside and feel around. Something pokes my finger. I grab it and pull it out. Wire umbrella. That just looks like trash to me. But if you want it, then I'm not going to stop you from taking it. He's so judgy. Mishito's so judgy. Research. Plan to strengthen weeds. Plants grow in sunlight, so I used a mirror to see what would happen under lots of light. Result, when I put a lot of light on it, the leaves turned white and got sick. Well, I learned, shining too much light on plants is bad for them too. That's good advice. Do I have to say something? No. No, no comment. No one asked you, Mishita. Like, no one asked you. Why has he got such an attitude? The paper is falling apart. Doubt anyone would care if I tore it off and took it with me. Yeah, let's take it. It's always good to have things. I ripped the research paper off the wall. Got plan to strengthen weeds. That's property damage. It's against the law. <laughs> Bit of paper, it's fine. In an abandoned school. Research, an umbrella that withstands a typhoon. When you open an umbrella in a typhoon, it will break because the wind's too strong. 
So first, I tried to put holes in the umbrella. That way, it wouldn't break in strong wind. No, when using it, put a plastic sheet on to transfer it into an extra strong umbrella. The strength an umbrella protects from thorns or branches blown by the wind. Clever. I guess that's how kids think. He acts like he was never a kid himself. Yeah, he's got such an attitude problem. What? No, it's nothing. You've got an attitude problem. I know a kid did the research, but it's still silly. I have, no, I have an idea. The umbrella we found earlier might have been part of the display for this research. Still though, what's the point? I shrug and stuff it in my bag. I see the nicely folded dark plastic sheet among the garbage. <gasps> Creating stuff together. Their blood denies him. Without conscious thought, I start speaking. Blood denies him. Does that mean to repel with blood? Mm. Hey, you. Hey, you've been mumbling to yourself. Give me a second. I pop open the wire umbrella. Then I spread the plastic sheet over it. Huh? Just like it said in the research paper, you can create something like an umbrella. But that's not fastened on. But it's not fastened on. It'd be impossible to carry it around like this. So we'll have to hold it together to use it. Thankfully, there are two of us here. One person open umbrella first, and one person to spread the sheet. If I, we, ugh, if we manage a combo like that, then we can use the blood, ugh, blood stained sheet, as an umbrella. Ooh, thinking ahead, are we? Might become useful later. Sorry to make you wait. Do whatever you want. But you aren't really planning on using that as some kind of shield, are you? I'm not sure, but I get the feeling that everything is here for a reason. I ignore a look of suspicion from Ashita by studying the flashlight in my hand. <laughs> Judgy McJudgeson. New info was added to the spirit file. Bloodstained umbrella. Can we have a look at the bloodstained umbrella, can we? Look at the bloodstained umbrella. Is it in here? Oh yeah. The wire umbrella used for a student research for students' research. And the plastic sheet dyed black from the corpse blood. Ew. There's no point to using it as an umbrella, but if one person opens it and c another could cover it with the sheet, the blood of the dead. In other words, something that close to the spirit. Something that's close to the spirit. If we use it against him, it might work. Like a shield of blood. Wasn't that delightful? That's something I've always wanted, a shield of blood. Can we take this too? I want to take this too. Mine. Yeah, take it. Mine. Oops, An aquarium covered in moss. The glass is terribly stained, making it impossible to see inside. An aquarium covered in moss. Stick your hand in. I hesitantly stick my hand in the tank. When I do, my fingers touch something cold. There's some water left inside. It's just water. For some reason, Mishida looks disappointed. Of course. There's enough water left inside that I could scoop it up in if I had a container. I think we have a container, don't we? Plastic bottle. There we go. I take the plastic bottle out and put it in the tank. It gurgles as it fills with water. How much water was in this tank? Got a bottle of water. What are you going to do with that? He's so judgy, like... I could do anything with that, you never know. Is there anything else in here? Oh, what's that? There's a chalk case attached to the blackboard. Something inside the chalk case. Worn out talisman! Yes! We like a worn out talisman. Alright. Got everything in here that we need. Uh, da -da -da -da. Yeah, I think that's everything. Let me go back. Do a savey save. So 
<laughs> we actually saved properly. I really like the the thorn the roses. I know it's supposed to be like bad, but I think it makes it look really pretty. Keep going. Uh, anything in the way? Can go in here. I think we found the hard hat in here last time. I don't think there's anything else in here. No. Okay, let's go back. And power on. The broken window is letting in a piercing cold wind. going in here. I moved to step in the classroom but this is never good. It's like cutscene. Oh, squidgy. And suddenly there's a strong grip on my shoulder. Oh no, that's not good. Oh, I glance at the hallway out of the corner of my eye. Oh, I'm pretty sure Mashida was on my other side. No, even if they were on this side, they'd have no reason to grab me. Oh no. Okay, here we go. Live or die. Glad I got all those talismans. C calm down. I'm just imagining things. My voice doesn't sound very convincing. Don't panic. It's an illusion. Calm down. Hold it together. Someone's panicking. An icy chill envelops my right side. Okay, something's gripping my shoulder, what should I do? Turn around and look, forcibly brush it off, call your partner. Oh, Mishita, help me! I turn to Mishita and open my mouth to tell them. Oh gosh, when I do... Hanahiko? Oh, okay, good. <laughs> Hanahiko! I see a terrifying terrifying face in the darkness. Hanahiko, your skirt's pretty. There's an outline lying in wait for me. Oh, Hanahiko. You can wear skirts if you want. I don't judge. Yell threateningly. Close your eyes and pray. Run away. There's no point running. He'll get you. And definitely get... Okay, close your eyes and pray. Just stand there and hope he don't get you. I squeeze my eyes shut and pray. Good. Okay. Just then. Hey, what's wrong? Is that Mishita? With Mishita's voice, the figure vanishes. I find myself standing in front of the door. Oh, good. We survived. The mark burns scarlet. Half an hour left until death closes in. Oh gosh. Soon. Y you okay? Yeah. Mishida picks up, picks something off my left shoulder. This is the hand I felt gripping my shoulder. It was actually a rose thorn. <gasps> he was going for you, but most importantly, Mishida, what's the matter? You're acting kind of. Acting kind of what? Something's wrong. He's not acting normal. Amnesia. My heart pangs with worry. Is Mashita spacing out because the Mark's curse has progressed? But I don't understand. I'm still the same, at least as far as I know. Come on. Right. <laughs> right, crazy. Maybe that's why he's got an attitude problem because he's got like amnesia. He's forgetting to be nice. Mishida shuffles forward like a zombie. Something is seriously wrong. This is bad. 
danger crept up on us so quickly. We're running out of time. His condi condition might get worse. I'll figure something out. Best figure it out fast. Oh, another room. Oh, more stuff. More children's stuff to do, to ruin. The paper is falling apart. Doubt anyone care if I took it off with me. What did I just take? I wasn't reading it. I read the research paper off the wall. Plan to destroy weeds. Nope, not read it. There are six office ladies who ride my train. I observe them for ten days. I learn popular colours are brown and pink. Everyone's hair is brown and their mouths are pink. Okay. I, went to, I didn't mean to rip that off. I pressed the wrong button. I wanted to read what the destroying plants thing was. I assume that we can take it with us, though. So. I'll take this with us, see if I can read it. Uh... Oh, yeah. How to destroy weeds. weeds. No, you can't read it. Charles' presentation poster in the multipurpose room, it records the result of pouring various liquids on weeds. It says miso soup and salt water worked. Dissolving salt in the water first makes it work faster. Okay. What was that dramatic music? I didn't like the thought of that. The plants are dry and withered. Creepy, creepy. Ooh. A white powder substance is scattered around. Naughty children. What have you been doing with a white powdered substance? It's a coarse power. It glitters in the glow of the flashlight. I'm not really inclined to stick it in my mouth to make sure, but it's probably salt. <laughs> Ew. If I had a container, I could take some with me. I try rubbing the grains between my fingers. It feels like salt. Uh, do we have something? Unless we're supposed to be making the salt water? Do we add water? I take out the bottle of water and fill it with the powder. Got salt water. Okay, we now have salt water. First, purify with salt water. First, purify with salt water. I hear the voice again. Sea water? So, would that be salt water then? Go on. Mm. The mark is dyed a deep crimson. A few minutes left until death closes in. Sunrise. Oh. Yes. A loud noise suddenly rings out. Ugh. A terrible pain runs through my wrist. It feels like something's biting into my bone. Mishida, are you okay? Mishida? Hey, are you listening? Yeah, I can hear you. <laughs> now it's a bit creepy. At least he's still re replying to me. But the way he's acting is... We can't keep going like this. Move, come on. My shout rings through the building. New if I was added to the spirit file. file. Last stand. Can we have a look at last stand? Time simply passes while we have no clue where Moe is. My partner's acting strange too. Like his memories are deteriorating. Why does it feel like death is closing in? We've nowhere to run. My only choice is to face the spirit using the information and tools I've gathered and... Is my partner for the first showdown okay with that? Plus, how am I going to deal with the threat of the thorns? I've heard so many riddles, but I don't know what they mean. And the last whis whisper, purify with seawater first. What's that about? I guess I'll have to do that before anything else. I have to think this through in order to survive. Sounds like something is coming up. I probably should have saved there. Mm. Please not be a cutscene, let me save. Oh no. The instant I step into the hallway, a strange, indescribable feeling hits me. 
like a solid presence is closing in on me from deep within the darkness. Oh, bunny! Hey, bunny! A rabbit appears out of nowhere. Hey, bunny rabbit! And then it runs down the hallway. I thought that was it, but it stops part way. It turns back as if to see what we're doing. Wait, wait up! I grab Mashita's wrist and chase after it. Bunny friend, save us! There's a creepy boy coming for us. We chase after the rabbit and arrive at the eastern staircase. Okay. We chase the rabbit running up the eastern stairs. Part way up, I trip over something. What's this? Moe's bag is on the staircase. Got Moe's bag. Inside the bag is some random junk along with her school jacket. What's that doing here? But if it's hers, that means... Is Moe in the school? And I remember that we were chasing the rabbit. Where did... I look around for the creature. Ooh, pretty! Then, just, uh, just then, red drops of something fall from above. It's scarlet rose petals. I slowly raise my eyes up to the ceiling. Mm. Oh dear, Moe. Why is she in it? Where did her clothes go? Why is she in her underwear? I just. It's gonna be one of those games, isn't it? The instant I see that, I let out a groan. It's heavily weighted with both fear and relief. Moe is up there hanging from rose vines. It's her. He points at her, strangely amused. But she's not the only one up there. There's a corpse hiding in the vines too. It looks like that guard. Ew. Bert, poor Bert the guard. Suddenly, the vines snap like the weight is too much and Moe crashes painfully to the ground. Don't even try and catch her? Please say you try to catch her. Hey, hang in there. Yeah. I quickly glance over to make sure she's not hurt. The mark is obvious. It's swollen, pulsing, and red like a large, dangerous looking pomegranate. <laughs> dangerous looking pomegranate. Ah, scary pomegranate. It looks like it's progressed a lot further than the mark on my wrist. I see, so this is why. Did she get desperate and come to the school to try to do something? So you did run away. In any case, I need to get some clothes on her. I take the jacket out of her bag and slide her arm into a sleeve. She's still pretty out of it, but she manages to get the rest on by herself. Where did her clothes go? I'm so confused by her clothes. Huh? Oh, it's you, mister. Why? The muck progression must be affecting her just like Mishita. I doubt anything I will say will make sense to her. And besides, right now... He's here. Creepy. <laughs> Hanahiko is... Okay, why is he so creepy? I know. Well, what should I do? What am I supposed to do? There's nowhere to hide. I look at Moe and Mishita. Their eyes are unfocused. We'll die here. We'll all die here. I'm the only one who might have a chance to overturn that fate. Gaining the key and lifting the grudge is the only way to survive. You will be required to be callous to make use of the spirit's fear. The way to repel the spirit lies within its grudge. Mary's words echo in my head. I open my bag and look through everything I picked up throughout the school. Is one of these the key? But it all looks like junk. Garbage is all I have. Hanahiko? When I first saw him in the mirror, he was just a monster. But now I feel like I know why he came to be. I'll just have to face him. Believe that I have the final key. Believe. Trust in myself. choose a partner. Well, before I do that, 
I think I'm going to end this episode here on this beautiful cliffhanger just before we face off against Hanahiko and I will catch you in the next episode. See you later. Bye.